Friends, computer network and communication is not very different. Here, two machines talk to each other, whereas when we do our communication in real life, two humans talk to each other. So in this particular video, we will understand the eight step method with which a computer talks to another computer and how those eight steps applies while we want to do communication to a different person and how we can improve our communication by understanding computer networking. So it's going to be an interesting video. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's start by understanding a normal computer networking uh, workflow. So first of all, you have the sender. It could be a computer or source computer from which the message gets originated. That message that gets encoded in a manner where it can only be comprehended by the receiver it could be due to security aspects then that message is sent on to the channel now this channel is your communication channel through which this message gets transmitted okay and there could be noise as well there could be distortions there could be um, you know some distortions or noise which uh, you know which can add friction to this whole uh, message channel eventually the message reaches the destination the receiver and then it gets decoded. After decoding it, uh, the receiver tries to understand the message and then the receiver sends the feedback back to the sender. The receiver sends the feedback back to the sender. Now all this is eight steps. Source, message, encode, transmit, noise, receiver, decode, feedback. Now let's understand one by one what we mean when we try to replicate it into human conversations so you are the source if you are you are the one who is initiating the conversation or the communication you are the source and the source has to decide what message uh, the source needs to convey if you don't know the message you know that's a bad way to start so whenever you are starting a conversation or a communication you need to know what message you want to convey the second thing is, in order to have a good conversation or a communication, the receiver wants that the source should be trustworthy. For that, we have SSL certificates and all that you might have seen. Similarly, if the receiver wants to entertain you at very instance, then want to know whether you are a credible resource, credible source, whether you are trustworthy. All those kind of things happens before you know before uh, you start a good communication or a conversation and here we are assuming that you are talking to a stranger because obviously if you're talking to your mother your wife your kid the trust is already built so just take that in your head and try to comprehend what i'm saying okay so source decides the message then the actual message comes in what message needs to be conveyed that has to be very clear okay what exact message you want to convey that has to be uh, written down if it is uh, a you know text message or if it is a verbal message you need to understand what you want to say maybe you are on a stage you are talking to 100 people 1000 people what kind of message you want to convey that message has to be very clear source needs to know that here it is a computer so they exactly know what message needs to be conveyed but sometimes within our communication we don't know the exact message we want to convey and then we start from somewhere and then end up saying something else so that's why it is very important for important conversations or communications to have a very clear message right at the beginning then the encode now in encoding we mean that adding certain symbols certain signs which can you know which can uh, help the receiver comprehend the message better now I'm trying to simplify this for a normal real life example. Okay, in encoding, in networking, it is different. But what I'm trying to say is your hand gestures, your eye contact, your smile, the way you are talking to the other person, all those things makes the message very, very easy to comprehend. Very, very, uh, you know, very, very helpful for the, uh, for the receiver to understand or comprehend. So that's why you need to encode it, wrap your message in a way where you are not simply talking like a robot without expression. You need to add symbols, signs, gestures, uh, which will add uh, value to your message and which will actually help the receiver have further trust into what you are saying. Obviously, then comes the transmit phase, the transmission. Transmission is when the message is actually conveyed. 
Now this is where you will have different channels. You are talking on mobile, you are talking on stage, you are texting someone, you are sending someone an email, you are writing a letter, what kind of transmission channel you are using. And based on that channel, you will have noise. And this is the villain of all the uh, bad uh, or all the good communication going wrong. Okay, the noise. Noise is the distraction you encounter while transmitting your message. So noise could be anything. If you're talking to someone on mobile and if there is a lot of traffic noise coming uh, from the background, that's noise. If you're writing someone a letter and you are not using proper grammar or maybe doing a lot of spelling mistakes or something, your writing is very bad, uh, you're not able to write clearly, all those kind of things adds to the noise. Okay, so we have to, in order to have a good communication, we have to have uh, this clear idea that the noise has to be as minimal as possible. The moment the noise gets cleared, the communication happens very, very smooth, smoothly, very, very easily. So the channel, whichever channel you use, you have to ensure that the noise is minimal. So the next time you're having an uh, open, uh, having an important communication, maybe a face to face communication, it could be with one of your colleague. Uh, it could be uh, for talking about certain promotions or appraisals. Don't talk on the desk. Don't go to your supervisor, talk on the desk. Go in a meeting room because in the meeting room, noise is less. Noise is almost nil. Okay, so then when you have those important conversations or communication, it adds more weightage. There is more clarity as to what you want to convey and the receiver receives it in a better way. So noise you have to minimize as much as possible. Then eventually after this channel has, uh, you know, sent the message, okay, um, the receiver is uh, another aspect of it wherein the receiver is waiting for this message to come to uh, him or her. Okay. Once this message comes in, uh, you know, it gets decoded by the receiver. So the decode part is more about what encoding you did and how it is getting decoded. For example, there are certain hand gestures which can be very offensive to someone. Okay, there could be some eye contact, the way you are communicating, uh, which would be very offensive to someone. Or uh, on the other side, there could be some hand gestures which would find, uh, you know, a lot of warmth, which will show a lot of warmth. And there would be some eye contacts which will show a lot of warmth, a lot of connection, right? All that gets decoded by the receiver. And also, this changes from source to source and receiver to receiver. So one receiver can comprehend your signs and symbols in a different manner versus another receiver uh, who can take it in a completely different manner or way. Okay. So don't take it as a, as if, uh, you know, it is a unanimous universal law of communication that you have to do certain things. Yes, there are certain laws uh, which applies to a good uh, communication, but uh, you have to see the receiver. Everything for good communication starts here, not here, no. Receiver is the hero of a good communication because he is listening, she is listening. So you have to keep them as the hero. They are the hero of any uh, conversation, any good communication. If you treat the receiver, the listener as the, your hero, then you have already won the battle. You, have, you, have, you are already a step ahead in, uh, in having a good communication because you are treating them uh, as your hero of your main conversation or communication. So once the receiver has understood the message, they send the feedback and they want you to know that they now know what you want to convey. And that's your feedback loop. And that's your eight step. So with these eight steps, every uh, communication happens in networking. And exactly these eight steps or stages could be used by you as well for having a good communication. Starting with the source, the message, the encoding part, transmission, noise, we have to suppress the noise. We have to treat receiver as our hero. We have to treat the listener as our hero. We have, uh, you know, we have to decode, uh, we have to decode it properly and then we have to send the feedback. So there are certain things which source has to take care of and there are certain things which the receiver has to take care of 
and if all the boxes are ticked you are having a good communication you are improving your communication okay so think next time when you are talking to anybody okay next time you are having a communication or a conversation think whether uh, what you can do as a as a source what you can do first you can treat the receiver as the hero you can have your message very clear you can add gestures you can minimize the noise all those kind of things you can do and then uh, it might help you improve the communication improve your communication and by the way the basic aspect of good communication is getting your ideas across getting your thoughts across someone else's mind and trust me you could have very bad grammar you could not you could have stammering you might not be fluent in english if you are talking in english you might have mother tongue influence and when you speak you don't sound like uh, having a good accent a western accent like british or american does not matter what you are trying to say if the other person is able to understand that is a good communication and how you would understand that he he or she has understood by waiting for the feedback to come to you that feedback could be claps that feedback could be smile that feedback could be a nod that feedback could be the other person now starts sending their ideas to your head because now they know that it is a good conversation right so yes guys this is this is what i wanted to draw out and i wanted to explain you guys and i hope the you got some value out of it if you did please hit the like button hit the share subscribe bell icon and yeah we'll continue to make it interesting for everyone until next time guys keep learning keep sharing all your knowledge and yes keep hustling bye for now